Hello everyone, my name is Tuukka Virtanen, also known as Nervanti. And today I want to give you my lightning talk about how to find the best robot framework libraries. And also present to you my personal project Roboscripts.org and how it can help you find those libraries. I think we can start by just going through my agenda. So I want to first talk to you about the vision of the robot framework library landscape, what it might look like in 10 years. And then I want to give you advice of what not to do. And then I want to talk about a library of libraries. And then I would like to proceed to talk about RoboScripts and how it can help you find those libraries. And I want to end my talk with a small plea of how we can maybe automate the world together. Okay, so let's start. A crazy vision of the future. First, look back 10 years. How did the automation landscape look back then? Now, look 10 years into the future. Imagine what it could look like. And now ask yourself the question, will automation grow? Will the automation landscape get bigger or will it go down? What is your opinion? Well, I think it's quite certain that it will keep growing as it did from the last 10 years to now. I think there's a trend that's been going on for a long time. And it's that systems are being built on top of increasingly complicated systems that are built on top of other increasingly complicated systems. So this means that the abstraction level is going up all the time because we want to do that. We want to use the highest abstraction level because it makes our work more efficient if we just have to think about the high level actions. We, have, we can concentrate on the high level problems and we don't have to worry about how it is exactly done on the lowest level. But this does mean that the focus is going to be on the libraries. Because if you think about the next 10 years, if there would be a huge number of these libraries, if everything, every part of our society would be automated and there would be a huge ocean, a vast ocean of libraries, and then you'd be shifting your focus to finding those libraries, finding the best libraries to use. Let's not reinvent the wheel. We don't want to solve problems that someone else already has. And that's an old saying, but I think it still rings true. And as professional automation developers, if we get a new project, we want to get started as fast and quickly as possible. And to do that, we want to use, utilize this existing work that exists before us. And someone has been kind enough to share and release for everyone to use for in the internet. So building on these existing working and battle tested libraries actually ensures our project's success. And also we save ourselves from making the same mistakes. And if there are any managers here listening, we save also a lot of time and money by doing this. How do you control and manage all these libraries? So the answer is that many organizations already have some kind of internal library of libraries. So they have a curated selection of the best libraries 
and they are, the libraries are approved and then they can be used in production. That means that there has to be this kind of a vetting process inside the organization where someone goes through the libraries and they have a certain criteria which the libraries have to pass before they can be accepted. And for example, the criteria usually includes making sure that the library is hosted somewhere and accessible for the organization. Library is up to date and, and then of the newest version. Secure, there are no security vulnerabilities. It might mean making some code reviews of the library. It has a license that is suitable for your use. And this wedding process, it can be very time consuming and it can be part of someone's role in an organization. So now we get to the part, uh, what's RoboScripts? What does it have to do with everything I've told you before? So basically RoboScripts, it's a search engine for the most useful robot framework libraries. So it is this kind of a library of libraries. It, it is kind of a central place that lists all the most useful libraries and the keywords that each of these libraries have and all the relevant information that you might need, such as the author, the author's homepage, version number, license, platform, and all this kind of stuff. And also you can share your robot framework scripts there if you want. All the keywords are linked to the library database and you can quickly see the arguments that the keywords need and the descriptions. And also it's a community for software automation professionals that love robot framework and want to share their knowledge. And I guess the big question is always why, what is the purpose? So this is simply just to speed up the automation developers work. When you are starting a new project and you don't know what to do, how to automate this stuff. So that's when you might want to start by giving a search at roboscripts.org. And now I'm going to show you guys a small demo of how it works. So it's pretty simple. You just go to roboscripts.org. Maybe today we want to automate an Excel, Excel sheet. So Excel keyword. Okay. And, and now we get to the result and let's open the keyword at the library. Yes, and there we can start automating. So roboscripts.org is still under development, but the goal is to build this kind of essential place that lists all robot framework libraries and to have this community of automation professionals. But here's my wish for everyone who's watching or listening this. If you have any libraries that you would want us to add to our database, or if you have any data that is incorrect, or there are any bugs in the data you find, if you have any ideas for improvement, please contact me at Nervanti in Twitter. And I would like to end my talk with this kind of a fun, a bit naive and idealistic plea of how we as software automation professionals can use automation to maybe make the world a better place. But for that I have created this kind of a creed of a RoboScripter. So if you're a RoboScripter, what should you believe in? And this is what I believe in. I believe that every piece of software can be automated. I believe in APIs. I believe that software automation can help us to improve our lives. And I am a RoboScripter. If you want to help 
or join and become a Roboscriptor, please check out roboscripts.org. I want to thank the Robocon 2021 uh, organizers and Robot Framework Foundation. It's been a really an honor to be talking to you guys. And let's automate the world together. Okay, great. Thank you. Bye. Hey, welcome to Robocon. Hi, hello everyone. It's very nice to be here. Awesome, great initiative. A few people asking already, is uh, robotscripts.org live? Okay, well, uh, I guess uh, it should be, but maybe there has been too many users that <laughs> it might, or... Okay, yeah. I hope I hope uh, maybe I have to buy some more uh, server space. <laughs> it has been, uh, but at least I got into the. But it actually needs the uh, the the www dot Okay, because we're saying the to, site can't be watch. reached. I just do robotscripts.org. So yeah, I guess I have to <laughs> do a bit more work on the hosting. Awesome. So uh, when, when it is up and running and everyone can get to it, uh, how often is it updating? How are you updating it? Do you have like manual people doing it? Do you have a script updating it? How, how does that work? Well, currently it's just uh, what I've been, when I, well, I'm kind of active in some of these robot framework uh, conversations. When I hear about the new library, I'll try to add it. But yeah, it's kind of a manual process at the moment. Gotcha. Uh, next question is, was a two-parter is, first one is, how do you collect libraries? And two is, how do you search within libraries? Hmm. Yeah, currently, uh, the search functionality, it searches like all the keywords that in all of the libraries. So I guess there, there's a lot of uh, features that could be added, like, for the to the search functionality, so those are good suggestions. I'll have to take a look at them and maybe do it. Do them. Awesome. So Sandra wants to know how do you decide which library is better than another? Do you have a rating system? Yeah, uh, yeah. Currently, like uh, the users can give likes if they like a library or if they want to favorite them, so they can find them on their account later. Their favorite library, so. The rating is currently based on kind of that, but also I've been trying to, there's this kind of a staff pick functionality. So if there's just some, <laughs> it's, it's currently it's more of a, what I, I have found very useful that I have given staff picks. So they are kind of featured, but this process could be made a lot more uh, clear or, or add, add more of the co community element to it. Yes, so many wants to know, how is the data collected for Roboscripts.org? Shall creators of new libraries contact you asking for a friend? Yeah, yeah, definitely contact me because because uh, I, th I thought like should, should everyone should at uh, first I thought like should every user be able to add their own libraries there? But I was thinking like maybe it's better if the more, only the moderators have the ability to add new libraries. So that because the most important thing is to just have really good quality libraries and them there. So I want to keep the quality up. So, yeah. but I yeah, contact me. Yeah, contact you directly. Cool. And you'll be in, in a Robocon venue, I guess, if people want to contact you directly as well. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll be there after this. this. I definitely need to touch base too, because I'm trying to do something similar with frameworks at testtool.io. And so it's mm. kind of the same thing. So it'd be interesting to know uh, your take on it. All right, cool. So uh, let's see if we have one last question we can ask really quick. Seems like a registration is mandatory to use RoboScripts.org and do searches. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. I, w I wanted to make it mandatory, just to make it uh, more of a place. Like, if you want to, you want to be become part of it. <laughs> it it's a bit, a bit to, to give it, make it grow, grow, kind of. You know. But yeah. 
think it's an awesome initiative. I hope it takes off, and hopefully, this is the the uh, you know you get a lot of a lot of feedback and probably a lot of contributors hopefully to help you because I'm sure it must be a hard to manually update everything on your own. So. Sounds awesome. Yeah, it's it's still in beta. So everyone who has library ideas, please contact me. I'll, or want or want to uh, support or contribute in any other way. Have ideas how to make this more useful? Yeah, contact me. Sweet. Thanks again. Thank you for contributing, Robocon. Really appreciate it. And thank you for this uh, new resource for us. Yeah, thanks. It's been great so awesome. far. Very cool. Cheers.